What is going on guys and girls? My name is James Lopexi and welcome back today to Slime Rancher. How are we doing everyone? Welcome back, welcome back. So today's video is going to be slightly different from the ones that we have just made and uploaded onto the channel. So hopefully if you guys saw them and you're subscribed to the channel, we just finished all of the Victor's experimental update content, which was such a good um, like update. Really, really enjoyed it. I think it's my favorite one out of the expansion updates that have happened so far. Um, but today's one is going to be a video that I promised I would make, and it is going to be hunting down and showing you guys every single location for the secret style packs, which you can equip to your slimes and make them look very, very fancy. Um, yeah, so I'm going to try my best to do these in a certain order, uh, and I'm basically going to try and do them in kind of like the more logical order. So, um, Kind of this order so i'm gonna go pink and then rock and then phosphor and then tabby <laughs> we'll see how it goes i don't know how that's gonna go just yet but in case you don't know about the secret styles basically it's like a dlc style thing which essentially allows you to reskin some of your slimes all of your slimes however many slimes you want to have brand new designs um so yeah just check this out look at that look at that that's the tabby slime it looks like a tiger it's so cool. So yeah, I've actually not got most of these, and I thought this would be kind of fun to one, hunt them down and see what they look like, and two, let you guys know where the locations are in case you want to find them yourselves. So we're going to start from the very beginning. I'm going to try and do these. There's a lot of them. There's 20 in total, so I'm going to try and get through them as quickly as possible. First up, of course, the humble pink slime. So this one is probably the easiest one to find, and of course, as soon as you exit out into the wild basically there is this small island and i believe if you've just started the game there was a gordo which was just chilling somewhere here uh but yeah if we actually just run to the back of this tree in the little hole there there is the treasure pod for the pink slime so with every single one of these i'll show you the map so obviously the location is the dry reef uh as soon as you can basically find this island you can get this style pack it is right between the two green blobs which are trees and this is where the pink slime is located aha so location number two now the cool thing is i'm actually kind of trying to find these as i go along but if you just follow the natural progression of the starter area and come through to this way super straightforward boom there is another secret style pod here and i'm guessing this is going to be the stone one at least i hope so three two one da -da! it is the hey oh it's called heavy metal Wait, no, because it's called a rock slime. This one's heavy metal. Genius! <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, that's amazing. Um, so yeah, there we go. This is the location here. Super straightforward, basically. We've come from these blobs. We've worked our way down through this little bit. And then boom, we get ourselves the rock. So the next location is going to basically take us from just where we were right now. Um, and then you basically, you're working your way down here. Uh, I mean... The area where we're going potentially next is going to be up here. However, uh, there is like this area off to the side. Now, I remember this quite well because there's like a load of bridges. Oh, yeah, this was it. Now, if we follow this straight, side note, look at the heavy metal slime. Oh, it's so cool. Oh, my goodness me. Look at the tabby slime. Yeah, this is the one that we're getting right now. So I did find this one off camera. Um, but yeah, you just basically head past uh, where the big sort of, sort of bony thing is. Uh, and then on these little floating islands, there's a teleporter, which we're going to jump into in just a second. However, on one of these little islands, this one here is the location for the tabby slime. It is located right here. And yeah, that will give you the cool looking tiger one, which we just saw. Now, I think if we actually jump into this teleporter, so this one takes us to a completely different location. This is over on here. Ha ha ha! We went all the way to the top. Um, so yeah, this is kind of like a little side island. Um, so when you complete the game, this is the location of one of the treasure vaults. However, let me pop this one open on the map. It is literally in the middle of the island, and you can work your way up here quite easily, just following the path, following the bridges. We're going slightly out of order, but I'm going to try and do them sort of in zones. Um, so yeah, this one was not the one I was expecting to find, but if I remember rightly... It is the gold slime. Look at that. Gilded. So I'm not too sure we're going to find one of these in the wild. Obviously, the gold slime is kind of like a rare spawn. Um, but yeah, if we do find one, we'll be able to see its awesome gilded texture. Very nice. 
Aha! Okay, I found another one! Um, yeah, so now I've left kind of like your... You know what, I'm gonna do this in colours. I feel like that's an easier way to do this. Um, so yeah, I've kind of left like the orange area, and now I'm in the indigo quarry, which is kind of like the purple area. Um, so yeah, it's split into some different colours. So there is a blue bit in the middle where you can actually see some water. Uh, and I think this is, yeah, it's a location where you find puddle slimes and stuff. However, in the actual pool itself, just off to one of the sides, basically right there. If we open this up, I'm guessing this is going to be puddle. Is it going to be puddle? Yeah, it's puddle. Oh, lily pad. Oh, look at them. Oh my goodness, that's so cool. All right, okay, so yeah, this is going to be difficult to get this in any kind of logical order, but... I think I'm going to try and do as many of them in zones as possible. So now we're in the Indigo Quarry. I'm going to go and try and find some more. Okay, so I've already found another one. This is basically literally where we just came from. We carried on straight across the bridges, uh, which are located right at the back of the Indigo Quarry. Um, and yeah, this was a location that I remember. So if you actually go and head around the back of the cave, there is a teleporter here. If you use it, uh, it heads you over to this kind of like rocky area. Uh, and I can literally see it straight away. It is right in the middle of these beautiful flowers. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Oh! Oh, it's a crystal slime skin. It's called Red Ruby. So I seem to remember this was the first place that we came across crystal slimes. And I think they were inside this cave, weren't they? <gasps> Look at them! They used to be blue, now they're red! Ow! They're still spiky, though. Ah, now interestingly, this one is super duper sneaky. Um, so yeah, basically, if you actually go onto your ranch and then you go down to your underground expansion area, uh, there is like a dimension like thing where you get rid of it and you can basically go to the indigo quarry this way. Um, so yeah, you, you follow the tunnel through and there is your usual teleporter, which takes you to the indigo quarry. However, if you look over the water, look at it. It's so sneaky. So I guess, like, if you've got a smaller backpack, you can kind of, you know, jump along the islands and stuff. But look at this. There's another one there. Three, two, one. And what's it going to be? Oh, angelic Phosphor Slime. Oh, my goodness. And there one is. Oh, my goodness. Look at that thing. Whoa, it's so pretty. Oh my goodness, okay, this location is probably one of the trickier ones to find, and this one is to actually find the rad slime. So I'm still technically located in the indigo quarry, but I'm really, really to, like, high up, and basically this is the pathway that you follow in order to get to the ancient ruins area. So if I went and followed through that direction there, I would go to the ancient ruins. What you need to do instead is essentially jump over onto the other side to where I am right now, and there is a very, very steep set of, um, like, wooden pathways and stuff. So you jump all the way down. There's, like, a little cave system. If we follow the cave system and keep going... Ta-da! There it is. There it is. I think this is the rad. It is. Yeah! There we go. So it's called Radiant. And I don't think there's any rad slimes down here. I would be expecting them not to be in this area. So it's kind of strange that that treasure pod is located there. I think that's one of the tricky ones. But anyway, that's where the red slime is. Okay, so next up, I've headed into the moss blanket. Now, this is the essentially like the first place that you go when you actually join in here. You, you head up on these like uh, sort of pathways and then you drop down a tree trunk and then you're essentially in this starter area here with this little pond. So the main sort of area that you're probably going to go is left. However... If you go up to the right-hand side, then I do believe that there is a treasure pod located right there. Boom! There it is. So I think this is the boom slime. Look how cool that is. It's called Arcane. Whoa! Look at that! So that's obviously like a boom, a boom tabby, but the colors are so cool. <laughs> It's so weird seeing them like different colors. I'm so used to them being a certain way. But I do really love like every single skin. They're just so cool. Anyway, that was the boom. Ah, there it is. Okay, <laughs> just found it. Uh, yeah, next up we have the uh, hunter. So yeah, this one is located basically uh, still in the moss blanket. If you just look for the giant tree kind of thing with the pool of water. 
um, there's like a little um, set of wooden bridges just off to the right hand side. Um, and yeah, on one of the little islands, there is this bad boy. Dun 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 dun! It is Hunter, and he's called Cheshire. I guess Cheshire Cat or something. Um, but yeah, there we go. So I think we've got one more in this area. Aha! Okay, found it. Um, yeah. So this I think is the final one for the moss blanket. It is literally by the home teleporter. Um, pretty much just on the top of this cliff. So essentially, as you follow the map around, you'll eventually end up here. Um, so yeah, that will take us back to the home base. Right there. But if we follow the wall just around a little bit more. Three, two, one. And this one is a really cool one. Look at this. Royal jelly. <gasps> That's so cool. Okay, so next up, we've headed to the ancient ruins. Now, there's two in the, like in total, and one of them we found in our episode. So, it is located right here, uh, basically to the left-hand side in the middle, uh, just in front of this kind of like little blue area. And this is the location for the Lucky Slime. So, it's called Guardian. It is a really, really, really cool one. I haven't managed to see one in-game just yet. Maybe one will pop up. Who knows? Um, but, yeah, this is the location for the Lucky Slime. And... Okie dokies, and next up, if you make your way to the very end of the ancient ruins, now I think if I remember rightly, this teleporter then takes us to the glass desert, which is where we're going to go next, which is very handy. Um, but yeah, just before you go into like the building, right at the end, well, if you actually go into the building and you turn right, you can't really miss it. Three, two, one. Dun, 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 It's the quantum. So this is monochrome. This one's really weird. And I, I can kind of imagine, I think most people, I don't know if people are going to like the monochrome. Have we got an example? Uh, yeah, there we go. Look at these guys. So where they're normally yellow, they're just like black and white. Huh. I don't know. I think like, I like all of these. I think they're all really cool. I don't really think that one's that good, I guess. I mean, it's different, but I think I prefer the yellow. Okay, so into the glass desert, and yeah, this one is a location which can be found right here. Um, so we found this one, I remember, when we were doing the uh, recent update videos. And this one is pretty much in the center of the glass desert. Uh, this is where you come in, and then this one is here. This is where I've got all of my collectors and my teleporters set up, but it's inside uh, this little cave off to the side here. And this one is where you find the dervish slime. So we found this one already. It's called Nebula. And it is probably one of my favorite ones. It just, look at it. It looks like, it looks like space. So cool. Okay, so next one is another one that we found. Pretty straightforward. We literally came from just over there where the tornado is happening right now. So if we carry on through and head over to this weird little side island, right on the top, you really can't miss this one. And it's probably one of the cooler ones as well. Uh, this one is for, for the mosaic slime. We popped this one already. It's called Shattered. And I imagine there's probably an example in here. Look at them. Look at them. Oh, they're so pretty. All right, next up, another pretty straightforward one. When you head deeper into the glass desert, uh, you will find a location kind of up here. So it's sort of, there's like a little oasis area, um, which I think you had to activate, didn't you? If I remember that rightly. There's like a big load of sort of um, structures, I guess. Uh, and then there is one located right there. And this one is kind of a cool one. This is for the Tangle Slime. It kind of looks fairly similar, but at the same time a little bit different because it's called Nightshade. And it basically just changes the colors. But yeah, that's your Tangle Slime. And there's another one which is fairly close. So we've got to head over, I think, in this direction. Yeah, there we go. If we do a little bit of jumping just off to the right-hand side of where we were, we were just like up here uh, in this yellow area. And now we've just come to the side. Uh, this is the location of the final one, I think, for the Glass Desert. Pretty cool one, though. Devilish. <laughs> How cool is that? So this is the Fire Slime. So cool. Now, you might be thinking, hmm, isn't that everything? Nope, because there is also a secret style for each one of the um, update areas. So you've got the Ogden area, um, you've got the Moki Miles area, and you've also got the Victor area. So I guess first things first, we should head to... Should we go to Ogden's? Was this Ogden's? I can't quite remember. Yeah, this was Ogden's. Okay, so we've actually got to go inside 
his um, like mini game, I guess. So if we go and head inside here. Okay, so this is where life is a little bit trickier than ideal because unfortunately in these mini areas, there's actually no mini map for me to show you. However, um, basically you are looking for this area off to the- Oh jeez, what is going on here? Hey, chill! Yeah, you're looking for this area here, which is not very green. See, a lot of the map is super duper green. This one is kind of like these three little rocky outcrops. Um, and yeah, you do need to come here anyway. So I'm sure if you are familiar with the game and you have this area unlocked, you'll vaguely remember where this is. Oh, actually, it's right next to the teleporter. <laughs> well, that's perfect. Um, so yeah, this one is located to the back of the map on these rocky outcrops. Uh, and this one is the Saber Slime. Boom! Look at that. Pre-Jurassic. Wait, do we have some Saber Slimes here to take a look at? Or did I combine them all? Oh, I think I combined them all. Oh, jeez, what are these things? <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so I've got a load of random hybrids here, I guess. They look really cool, though, still. Okay, two more to go. The next one, we're going to go to the Moki Miles area. Um, so this one, I think if I remember rightly, yeah, it was located here. Uh, now, I haven't, done, I haven't done this for a long time, but I think that the one we are looking for is located in the easy mode. So that one's the hard mode up there. I think this one is the easy mode track, and we need to basically get to the area where it goes green. Uh, I'll see what I can do. Aha, there it is. Um, yeah, so what I did is I basically, I didn't actually start the mini game, uh, but I just went up as high as possible, and I just followed the sides. Um, so yeah, here we go. This is up here, quite high up on the track, uh, and it's just, I basically just follow it around. So it is in the beginner's track, which is good news. Uh, and boom! Look at that. The Quicksilver Slime turns into the Boomerang. Oh, okay, it's literally above the beginning. <laughs> so yeah, that's where you spawn in. It's literally up there. Okay, and the final one is one that we did find in the episode, and this one is a little bit more, I guess, it de kind of depends where you spawn in. So when we actually found this one, it was literally because it spawned us in in front of it. Um, but yeah, this one, apparently, if you try and locate where the Honey Gordo is or was on the map, that's where you will find the equivalent pod in the, uh, in the, um, the Victor's experimental update world, but obviously I'm going to go and try and find it anyway. So if I remember rightly, it was somewhere around here. Ah, I think it was literally up here. Okay, so hopefully you guys have seen my route and stuff. Yeah, it was. Okay, yeah, so it's kind of as you drop into the moss blanket. Uh, this is sometimes where you spawn in and located right there. There's no mini map to show you, unfortunately, but right there is the glitch slime. So, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. We have got every single one of the secret style packs. So in case you're wondering, unfortunately, no. Uh, it doesn't change the Gordos. Although I was kind of thinking, like, why not? <laughs> it would have been really cool to have the Gordos changed, but it only changes the regular ones and the Largos. And of course, you know, any kind of, like, merging you're doing, it will give it the correct sort of, you know, look, I guess. Um, but yeah, there we go. We have every single one of these new slimes unlocked. That's what the lucky slime looks like, in case you didn't see it at any point. It looks really, really cool. Uh, but yeah, these are really awesome. Look at that one. The devilish slime. <gasps> so I don't know which one my favorite is. Oh, <laughs> yeah, there we go. It kind of looks quite similar. Um, the boomerang. That's what the glitch one looks like. I don't know which one my favorite one is. Let's have a little look through. Oh, it's so difficult. That's really cool. The Radiant. That's really cool. That's really cool. Oh my goodness. You know what? I think... Oh, it looks like a Golden Snitch. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I think I'm going to say, though, my favorite one is still the Mosaic. Oh no, Nebula. I think it's Dervish. It's between these two. Uh, but yeah, there we go. So that's every single location to get yourself the Secret Styles. And yeah, hopefully it's useful. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. Really hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, please remember to poke me in that like button. And if you're not yet subscribed, go for it. Because we do Slime Rancher done fun. But until next time, thank you once again for watching. It's been such a pleasure. As always, thanks. Rantio!